We are getting our first look at the man arrested in connection with Tulsa's most recent homicide. Detectives say Drake Jones strangled his own mother to death this afternoon. We brought you breaking news coverage on Fox 23 News at 5 from that scene at the South Glen Apartments near 61st in Peoria. Fox 23's Alex Cash was at the scene while investigators were out there and she's live tonight after talking with police. Police are describing this as tragic. They say this was a domestic violence situation that led to the death of a mum who was living with her son. An apartment was taped off Thursday afternoon as detectives investigate after a woman was strangled in her own home by her son, who police say called 911. She was in very, very poor condition. He was taken into custody. Captain Richard Muhlenberg from Tulsa Police says the woman was rushed to hospital where she died from her injuries. Officers say she was in her late 50s and her son, Drake Jones, seen here, is in his early 20s. As the crime scene team and homicide units investigate, officers confirm to us that they have been called out to the apartment before. We have had some history here at the house, but that is not atypical to have you know, calls of domestic violence, and then it escalates to the point where, unfortunately, one person just makes a horrible, horrible set of actions and takes the life of somebody else. And in this situation, you have a, a basically a mother and a son relationship. Police say the mom and her son live together in the apartment, and officers are warning about the dangers of domestic violence. And unfortunately, this situation got out of control, and then someone lost their life as a result of it. If you can get out of that situation, you have to stay out. It, it takes tremendous strength to get out of that situation, and sometimes you don't even realize how bad it is until it's too late. The suspect, Drake Jones, is now booked into the Tulsa County Jail. He's being held without bond. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.